Hi everyone, Dr. Jay Mehta here. This is going to be a master class on testicular microlithiasis. All right. So let me just first tell you what is this. Predominantly, if I draw the testis for you, obviously as a part of this, I am also going to show you an ultrasound of microlithiasis. Right. What's going to happen is one. This is predominantly going to be a radiological diagnosis. That means you are going to come to know of this thing when you do a USG of the scrotum. Predominantly, more than 90% of the times, more than 99% of the times. All right. What it is going to show is that there are going to be certain micro calcifications which are present in the testis. When you move your probe over the testis, see this is how a normal testis is going to be. Normal architecture, normal structure. All right, a testis with microlithiasis is going to show these type of spots inside. Okay, now trust me, this thing is going to normally scare you out. Hey, now you are going to start thinking, oh my God, if there is testicular microlithiasis, is it going to become cancer and second am i going to be infertile all right so let us answer these two questions obviously as a part of this small master class we will show you how the ultrasound looks like it's going to be very nice to see that as well okay so one there is no proven risk that a testicular microlithiasis can be cancer. All right. So let me first write that there is nothing proven on this. Okay. But if in case you are worried about cancer, you can have speckled appearance, which is in the form of a cluster at one particular point. Microlithiasis is spread out. If you see microlithiasis is spread out across the testis predominantly with a fibrotic band. Understanding if you look, if it is at one spot, then maybe, maybe, okay, it can be an early sign of testicular malignancy on ultrasound. All right, but it is just a maybe again. It's not sure. Am I going to be infertile in this situation? All right, please let's answer this. Okay, approximately in 8 to 10% of males who are having severe oligoastunozoospermia, teratozoospermia, we may see microlithiasis. All right. But again, there is no proven association. All right. So there is no proven association of this thing with infertility as well. All right. It is suspected that microlithiasis occurs predominantly due to defective spermatogenesis. That means defective sperm production or due to previous viral infections all right so but we do not know these are all just postulated theories with this much in your mind let's go and have a look at the ultrasound on how this entire thing looks so as discussed this is your testis which has microlithiasis you can see all these small white colored spots which are distributed okay across the entire region of the testis right now as I said, this has got no correlation to cancer, but finding testicular fibrosis, you can see these thin white bands which are running through the testis. All right. Finding these thin white bands through the testis is something which is common. See this? This is a proper fibrotic band which you can see inside the testis. Association between this type of fibrosis and microlithiasis is very, very common on your testicular ultrasound. Predominantly for this, we recommend male partners to do a semen analysis if this is an occasional finding on a routine testicular ultrasound rarely that happens we ask them not to get worried and we also ask them to go and see our urology colleague all right see we are fertility specialists we see a lot of this but we are only supposed to deal with fertility issues got it if there is something else which is suspected we have an in-house urologist who is super all right. So we always ask the patient to go and see. I hope you have enjoyed this masterclass. Thank you so much. Friends, we are available for consulting in Bombay, Indore, Ahmedabad and Bangalore. 
Bombay is our primary location. All appointment numbers are mentioned in the description. If anyone is genuinely interested, they may contact the hospitals for the same.